everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a bit of a different video for you, something that I've never done before. I haven't really shown any sort of active wear or gym wear on my channel before, but I thought that everyone is at home at the moment, everyone is doing home workouts and seems to be doing a little bit more exercise. So I thought I would try out some gym wear, some active wear, some well-known brands. I've got pieces from two different brands I bought from Gymshark and from Able, and I've got a few different sets to show you. I've tried them all on, I haven't worked out in any of the items yet bar one um, because I wanted to film this video first when they were all new and I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to be keeping and what I was going to be sending back. But yeah, I just wanted to give you sort of like a first impressions and a little bit of a review of the pieces that I got. So I'm definitely not one for working out loads. Um, prior to uh, the UK going into lockdown, I didn't really go to the gym and I didn't really do much exercise, maybe like one at home workout a week. <laughs> so since I have a little bit more free time and the weather up until recently had been really, really nice, I had been getting a little bit more exercise doing my home workouts a little bit more religiously and I've actually taken up running as well. I have got the Couch to 5K app, so I'm really hoping to be able to run 5K by the end of next month. Um, we shall see. I'll keep you guys updated in my vlogs on how that goes. But yeah, I decided that I needed to order some more gym wear because I don't really have any proper gym wear. All the stuff I wear is like an old t-shirt and old black leggings from God knows how many years ago that I bought at like Sports Direct or something. Um, nothing wrong with that, but they're just very, very old and they don't really fit me right. So I decided I wanted to invest in some proper active wear. I didn't realize how expensive it was. Um, I spent, I think about nearly like 350 pounds on these pieces. So definitely not keeping all of them because I don't work out enough to get the wear out of them. But anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. So I'm just gonna get straight into the video. So the first set that I've got here is from Abel and I sort of stumbled across this brand. Um, I wasn't really sure on any brands other than Gymshark, which I'm gonna get to later. I hadn't really heard of many activewear brands and a lot of the websites that I went on, everything pretty much that I liked was sold out. So I stumbled across Abel um, when I was on Instagram and I had a look and all the pieces that I liked they had in my size, so I made a spontaneous order. Um, now this first set, as you can see, is a black set. I'll take it off the hangers so I can show you a little bit better. So this sports bra is called the V2 Balance Seamless Bra, and it's a lovely black racerback shaped sports bra. It's got a little bit of padding in the front, which is great for me because I'm quite small chested, so it fits me really, really nicely around the top. It's got a nice bit of detailing on the side. It's got the small logo at the back, which I really like, nice and subtle. Um, and yeah, this fits me really nicely. It's a lovely stretchy material. It's comfortable, which is the main thing. It's not sort of digging in under the armpits. It's a really nice, comfortable material. You can actually take out the padding, I've just noticed, in the top. Um, so if you don't need it or you don't want it, you can actually remove that, but I kind of need it. This sports bra was £24, and I think that's a really good price. Um, I got this in a size small, and it fits me really nicely. I've got everything here all the Able stuff and all the Gymshark stuff in a size small. It fits me really well, it's very comfortable, I love the material. So I'm definitely keeping this. I thought that I would keep the black set because you just can't go wrong with an all black set. I feel like that is where you need to start, that is the core, and then maybe branch out into some slightly brighter colors. But as you guys know, I love neutrals, I love monochrome, so I had to go for the black, and obviously black is slimming. This top is very flattering, it comes down to a nice level as well, hides a nice bit of my torso, but there is a small gap between this and the leggings. Now these are the leggings, these aren't the exact matching leggings to this top, but off recommendation I went for these black leggings which are the Pulse ones. Again, a nice little subtle logo on the side. These have a very thick waistband and it's also very long, so it really nips you in at the waist and creates this really nice hourglass figure. These leggings are a thick 
material. They're not see-through, they're nice and stretchy, they're comfortable. Sometimes thick leggings can be a little bit rigid. These are not, they were so easy to get on and off, which I love. Sometimes I can feel myself like really having to squeeze myself into some gym leggings. This has not happened with these. They glided on, they glided off. They're very, very comfortable, long enough as well for my legs to sort of gather at the ankle a little bit. And they just feel like an amazing quality. They feel really, really expensive. They were 30 pounds, which I think is a very good price to pay for black leggings this is something that I wear all the time not just for working out I've always got black leggings on around the house this sort of thing is perfect for traveling as well it's just really important they're a great core staple item for your wardrobe not just for working out and I can imagine I will be getting a lot of wear out of these hopefully they last well hopefully the quality is good enough to last me wearing them a lot um, I'm sure it will be, but for £30, I think that these are a great, great pair of black leggings. So I actually got a second set from Abel as well, and as you can see, it is this grey mall set. I got the long-sleeved top and the leggings to match. Again, I should just take them off the hangers. Now this set is called the Motion Set. Um, it fits, again, really nicely, a really thick material. I did notice that the top was a little bit tight on me um i don't know if i would have wanted to go up a whole size to a size medium but it was a little bit uncomfortable trying to get it on once it was on it's okay um but yeah a little bit tight especially around this part but yeah like i said once it was on i didn't really notice too much it's got this nice detailing across the top and then a hole at the back and finger holes as well on the sleeves. Now I'm guessing this hole at the back is for if you wear it as a three piece set with the sleeveless crop top. Obviously I just got the long sleeve top. They didn't actually have the crop top available in my size, um, but I wasn't really too fussed about that because I thought I could put any old crop top underneath that. I could put the black underneath it. Um, my reasoning behind getting this set was actually so I could mix and match pieces with the black. I thought this would look good with the black leggings and the black crop top would look good with these grey leggings. Now these are the Motion Seamless Grey Marle leggings. These look quite similar to the Pulse black ones. Um, they have a nice little bit of detailing. The only thing I noticed that I thought was really weird is this label, obviously I'm gonna cut it out, but it was right on the ankle, so it was very uncomfortable. Again, the small logo on the back and on the front here as well, a really wide and thick waistband, so again, it really nips you in like the black ones do and creates that lovely hourglass figure, much like the black set. I really like the shaping on these. You can see the slightly darker gray around the bum, which really accentuates it, and it's very, very flattering. These, again, feel like an amazing quality. They went on very, very easily and came off very easily, much like the black leggings, much easier to get on than this crop top. So the only slight issue I've had is with the top. Getting that on was a little bit of a struggle, but that's probably just my wide shoulders and big head. So these leggings were 30 pounds, which again is a very, very good price for such a thick, good quality pair of leggings. And I'm definitely gonna keep both of these sets. Um, I just feel like gray is another staple core color. Again, because it's that little bit darker, it was quite slimming as well on me, I found and I wanted to be able to mix and match my pieces. I definitely think that I can mix this set and the black set together. So the total for the black set was 54 pounds and the total for this gray set was 56 pounds. So quite a good price, I think, when you compare it to other gym wear sites. And for the quality, I'm really, really impressed with this. So now moving on to Gymshark. I've never bought anything from there before. Um, I've never shopped on their website before and I found it quite easy to navigate and um, quite easy to find what I wanted. So the set that I picked up is this three piece set and it's in a green marl. I expect it to be a little bit more gray. It shows up a bit more of a gray green on the website, but this is fine. And the color is actually very, very flattering on. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but now I'm really thinking that I may keep this whole set. So this set is called the Vital Set. And like I said, it's in the green marl. This is the crop top. It fits much like the um, Abel V2 Balance crop top, very, very similar shape. This one, I noticed, feels slightly smaller or has slightly less stretching than the black Abel one. Um, it was a bit more difficult for me to get on, but once it was on, it was very comfortable and not too tight around the arms or anything. It's also a nice length, um, doesn't cut me off right underneath my boobs, comes down a bit longer and sits nicely with the leggings. This, again, has padding in it that you can quite easily remove, but for me, it's quite flattering on, so I do like to keep that in there. And this sports bra was 25 
£5. So quite a good price, similar pricing to the Able one. Um, and very very comfortable and it feels like really good quality as well now the leggings that I got also from the vital range obviously it's all part of the same set um, these ones were difficult to get on I mentioned with the able leggings how easy it was to get these on and off and they didn't stick these ones it was quite a task a workout in itself maybe to get these on my legs again once they were on very comfortable but just you know when you've just come out the shower and your legs are a bit wet and you try and put jeans on that's what it felt like a little bit so um something to bear in mind but i don't think i'd want to size up because once these were on they fit me perfectly around the waist again this really nice thick waistband the material itself doesn't feel as thick as the able ones but they still look lovely on and they're still very flattering got this really nice sort of spot detail on the lower leg which is flattering and again they have a slight bit of sculpting around the bum i don't know if you can see that but they have like a little the nice simple logo on the front which i really really like and i do love this color i have to say i feel like it looks quite nice with my skin tone i wasn't expecting that at all i didn't think i was going to like it but i wanted to add a little bit of color into this haul um, because my first instinct would be to just buy everything in black and grey but I really do like this I think it's a really nice addition especially for the summer so these vital leggings are £40 so £10 more expensive than the able ones and to be honest I haven't noticed a difference in quality thus far maybe once I work out in them I'll completely love them and they'll be absolutely amazing and they'll give me a six pack straight away but yeah so far I can't see where that extra £10 has gone in quality and to finish off the set I wanted to get all three pieces because I think it's nice to be able to change up the top and on a slightly warmer day obviously wear the sports bra and then have this to chuck on just in case you need it so obviously this is the long sleeve top again it's got the finger holes no hole at the back to see the sports bra which is fine doesn't really bother me that much this top is in a very very thin material which made it super easy to get on and the thin material also helps it to look quite seamless over the top of the sports bra doesn't feel too thick and too heavy and just a little bit too much it glides on a really easy so it's really nice to be able to wear those three pieces together as a set this top was £30 and I think it fits really nicely. I do prefer the fit of this long sleeved to the fit of the Able one, which is a bit of a pain because I prefer the Able leggings, but I prefer this top. And I don't think the grey and the blue are going to look great together, but you can't have everything, right? So for all three pieces, that is £95, which is quite a lot of money for one set, um, but the quality I think is really good. And I did want all three pieces so I could mix and match and be able to wear all three together or just the sports bra or just the long sleeve top so I do think it's worth it for me saying that I'll see how much wear I actually get out of them and how much exercise I actually decide to do but I am really impressed with this vital set as I didn't think I was going to like it but I really do that may be mostly down to the color but I am also impressed with the fit now this is the second set that I got from Gymshark I just got this in the leggings and the sports bra I don't know if they actually had a long sleeve to go alongside this i didn't see it myself um i believe that these two bits are actually in the sale um or slightly discounted i picked this up because i really like the color i thought this top color was really nice it's sort of like a blush pink yeah i was just drawn to it i thought it might look quite nice with my skin tone boy was i wrong it does not look good with my skin tone <laughs> and unfortunately we have come to a set that i do not like this top doesn't fit right um it's too high up here these two straps here just cut me off at the wrong place it's tight underneath my armpit like all the others aren't I think it's got too much going on at the back um yeah it's just not comfortable I wouldn't want to do a workout in this and yeah the color does not look good it kind of washes me out which maybe I should have known but I just really like the color but it just doesn't work with me and the fit is not good it's very uncomfortable like I said it really bunches under my armpits and pushes up all my fat which is not a good look so yeah unfortunately not best pleased with this but if any of you are interested in this set um, not that I'm really selling it at all but this is called the sculpt set um, it's in this blush pink color and the top is 30 pounds and the leggings which I have here are 32 pounds um, unfortunately these again did not fit me very nicely I don't really like the material of these they're much thinner um, than the other Gymshark leggings from the Vital set. These feel like a high street store gym legging. 
Um, these feel like maybe like a fast fashion brand has tried to make active wear and this is what it kind of feels like. It doesn't feel like specialist gym wear, which Gymshark I think is. Um, I'm not an expert on this, I'm just going off my first impressions. Um, I don't like these pockets. I don't really understand why anyone would put their phone in this pocket. Obviously I get that you need pockets, but it just looks so weird and it's really uncomfortable. So um, yeah, I'm just not a fan. They didn't fit nicely. I don't like the material. They have ruching on the bum, which is quite nice, but yeah, I'm just, these are just not for me. But for reference, the leggings were £32. So that is £62 for the top and the bottoms in this set. Um, but unfortunately, they will be going back. And finally, I just have a sort of miscellaneous item that I chucked in my bag um, sort of spontaneously at the end of my Gymshark order. And I'm really pleased that I did because I think it's going to be one of my most worn pieces. And it's just this longer short sleeve top. It's obviously in this black, I think they call it black marl, because um, it is slightly speckled. But I really like this and I thought, do you know what, there's probably going to be days when I don't want to wear a crop top, so to have something a little bit longer um, is going to be nice, and this fits really nicely. It's nice to just have something a bit different, not a skimpy for those days when I can't be bothered. They also do this in long sleeved as well, which is good for when it's slightly cooler, but I thought as we're coming into summer, it might be good to have the short sleeve version. Um, I do really like this, it fits nicely, it really sucks you in as well. Um, I was wearing this the other day and I came downstairs and my mum was like, you look really thin and I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this. This was only £25 and I think for the amount I'm going to wear it, that is a really good price. The material of this one is quite thin, um, so you can easily put a sports bra underneath it or just a normal bra. It's very, very tight fitting as well, so that may not be for everyone, but I do feel like it really sucks you in. So that is everything for my activewear haul. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what pieces are your favourite and also let me know any other activewear brands that you guys like to shop at. Let me know what your favourite set or what your favourite piece was from what I've shown you. Um, I think mine has got to be the black there's a surprise. I hope you guys are all staying safe and well and if you did enjoy this video please give it a like and if you are new I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with another video.